All right, what is going on guys? So a very different video today and uh, you're not seeing my face right now, you're actually looking at my phone right here because I'm gonna be showing a, a bit of a hand cam or a thumb cam, if you will, uh, for when I'm fighting. But we're gonna be going over a new skill that I've really been practicing a lot in the game and I feel like uh, not a lot of people are talking about it. So I'm gonna make this video, we're gonna be talking about it, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do it, why it's useful, where it's useful. It's actually extremely practical and it's just something that you should really add to your toolkit because it, it, it'll help you so much. I, I notice myself doing it more and more now all the time. So this is, a, I, don't, I don't think, I, don't, I haven't seen any videos on YouTube uh, about this new skill and uh, no, I, I don't know if there is a name for it, if anyone has a name for it. So I'm gonna try to coin a, a term for it right now and I'm gonna call it the reparry, R-E-P-A-R-R-Y. So, I, I'm naming it that because it's nice and simple because basically what this method is, is it's when you miss a first parry uh, and then you parry a different hit in the combo. So right here we're going to take a blocked hit. So let's let Winter Soldier dash at us. We miss the parry and then boom, you see we parry the second hit there. So a re-parry is pretty much you don't parry on the first hit, uh, but you parry on another hit in their combo. So again, let's demonstrate it again. Boom, you see we parry the second hit there. And you can see at my thumbs here kind of how I'm doing it. So when you're t taking block hits, you want to let go of block, and then you want to snap back into block to, nip, to land that parry, just like that. So that's pretty much what it is. Now, why is this useful? Well, there's a lot of cases for it, and there's a, a couple champions that are really annoying to fight where you'd want to be using a skill like this. And one of them is Iron Man Infinity War. So let's go ahead. Can I... I think his name was CPU Master. Yeah, okay, I remembered it. Copy and paste isn't working. But, alright, so Iron Man Infinity War. So this guy has a super annoying um, mechanic where you can't parry his medium attack unless you're like Proxima or something, right? So that's where this method really comes in handy because, boom, look at that. Easy parry. Uh, boom, easy parry. Uh, sometimes he'll just throw a heavy attack, and that's fine too. Boom, easy parry like that. So it's an extremely useful method for fighting Iron Man Infinity War. He's one of the super annoying defenders that has such an ability. Like, look how easy that is to parry him. You know, we're not really having an issue there. Uh, another really annoying defender where this can really come in handy is Havoc. So uh, let's go duel a Havoc. I think name was Dutch Eddie, I think. Okay, nice. Remembered it. All right, so let's go ahead and duel a Havoc. And so, you know, Havoc, you know, again, he's got those, I think it's just, they're not physical, I think they're energy medium attacks or something like that, so they're, they're not making contact on the medium, and then, boom. So right there, he threw two mediums, we parried both of them, uh, but if you can throw a light, boom, there we go, get, land the parry. So, boom, land the parry, uh, and really, once you practice this method and get it down, it's really not too difficult. Uh, I've been practicing this method for about the last two months. Been practicing a lot just been trying to do it more and more because it it's, it's a really good thing man look how consistent i can get with landing these parries on havoc it's really not too difficult uh and it just makes champions like this so much easier to fight it's really great so that's one of the uh cases where it's an extremely useful method uh so that's number one just fighting annoying champions that where you can't really parry their first medium attack right Another scenario where this is extremely useful is, uh, for example, in map seven, I have a fight, a bishop, where it's mesmerize, um, prove yourself, and uh, start with two bars of power. So it's really annoying and I don't want him to throw power. So this method works really well because let's say we push Winter Soldier to two bars of power and we don't want him to throw that special, right? If we're holding block, he's not gonna throw that special. But if we wanna parry, uh, and we don't want to let go of block, boom, we can just hold hold block, let him dash at us, uh, and then either, you know, he can throw a heavy attack like that, which is good, uh, or we can go for a re-parry like that, and then, you know, it's, it's really safe so that he's not throwing that special, so, you know, if you really don't want the opponent to throw that special attack, it's, uh, it's really great for really controlling that power more. So that's another case where I find this method very, very useful, and another one is just to take less block damage, you know, like if you're in a fight 
and you miss a parry just because you know like you it happens man we're not perfect we miss parry sometimes so then if you can let go a block and then uh nail the next parry that not only cuts down on block damage you know it can save time getting into the next combo and also for example human torch here his combos sometimes i find are a little bit weird so i don't land uh the parry after a three hit combo all the time so uh you know if i can land a reparry sometimes and that's really good uh so i find it useful in certain circumstances like that where if you just miss the parry it can really just help cut down on block damage uh so yeah just the more you can parry the better right so let's try to line one here with torch uh if he's gonna dash at us or or he just throws a heavy attack like that and that's fine too it's a it's a good way to bait up the heavy attack if uh he doesn't want to throw it like yeah you see he's just throwing those heavy so that's great you know there we go we landed one so that's pretty much how you do it with some examples of my thumbs here so you guys can really see how I'm doing it. I hope, uh, I hope that helps. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and analyze some Alliance War gameplay that I did. Uh, it was like a week ago now, actually. I didn't upload the War. There's been so much content I've been uploading lately. So I'm going to go pull up the War gameplay and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're back with some Alliance War gameplay now. And uh, I'm going to be taking the path number, what is this? Uh, path seven. So this is the hidden path. So I actually put on some of the the detect masteries. I haven't used these since the old old Alliance War map. Um, and so this Alliance War gameplay. The reason why I wanted to show it is because I used the reparry method quite a few times in a lot of matchups in this war. So try to I'll try to call it out when I when I hit a reparry. And on some matchups, it's really important. Like we have some Havocs coming up and Iron Man Infinity War coming up. Uh, so, you know, if you can use the repairy method, it, uh, it's really useful. You're going to see it, some real practical applications for it in Alliance War here. Uh, that's why I wanted to show that. So first up here, we just have a Nightcrawler, pretty standard fight. Right there, I missed the first parry, and then uh, I, I land the second one. And with Captain Marvel, you know, it's great because that gives us three binary charges because one's a blocked hit, and then the next hit's a parry, so that's three, you know. Uh, so that's nice. It's kind of just uh, build up her binary charges a little bit faster. So that's just an application in and of itself for the reparry method there. Uh, but yeah, this Nightcrawler, not too difficult. Uh, just throw a couple heavy to finish off the fight and build up, uh, rebuild up that binary for the next fight. So going into the next fight, uh, I have the Detect Masteries and I detect that it is a mutant champion once again. So I, I didn't know who this was going to be, but I'm just like, yeah, I'll just go with Captain Marvel. Play it safe. We got some uh, masochism here. Bubble Shield, Indomitable, whatever it is, I'm sure Captain Marvel can handle it, and it turns out to be a Havoc, a six-star Havoc, so, um, a little bit worried, but, you know, I'm not too worried, um, so Havoc here, boom, he threw the Heavy right there, uh, after we parried his medium attack, so that's great, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my L2 here, I'm just gonna try to blitz him down as quickly as possible, while we still have, uh, our Indestructible buff, uh, cause it took, soaked up some of the, uh, damage from his detonation on his Plasma, He's uh, throwing a little bit of a combo into my block here, just bait on heavy attack, uh, and then we take him down here. I don't think we even used the reparry method there, but we finished the fight with a uh, full yellow bar, so that's all good. But now the next fight. That is where the reparry method really, really comes in handy. So we have a mutant champion on the next hidden node, another mutant champion, and um, this one is an Aegis heavy node. So, you know, I was thinking about going with Captain Marvel again here. I was thinking that it was going to be a Havoc. Uh, so I'm like, you know what, let me go with Namor. Namor is a better matchup for Havoc, typically. And I get in, and yes, indeed, it is a Havoc. So uh, the reason they put Havoc here is, you know, because normally you can't parry him, right? But watch right here, boom, parry the first hit, and then boom, we hit the reparry uh, on the second hit, and boom, that uh, allows us to get off these heavy attacks. There it is again. That is an extremely practical application for the reparry method, or how you want to be using it like that. Uh, just a perfect example of it right there. And as you can see, like I'm really comfortable with using it now that I can apply it in places such as Alliance War. So really, it's just about practice, man. You want to get this method down, just start practicing it. Practice it in Arena. You know, if you notice that you miss a parry, just go ahead and try to parry another hit in their combo. You might uh, accidentally get hit a couple times. That's bound to happen, but just practice it and uh, eventually you'll start to get good with it. Like I said, I've been practicing this method for about the last two months, and I haven't really talked about it. Uh, I didn't really want to talk about it or make a video about it until I got really comfortable with it, and I can do it pretty reliably now. Uh, so yeah, so I'm interested to see how you guys, uh, what, what feedback you have for this video, uh, because you know I've, I've never really made a video like this, just teaching some tips. Uh, so if you guys want to see more of this in the future, you know, let me know. 
if you guys like the hand cam let me know it's kind of annoying to set up but it's pretty cool i thought so uh yeah and our l2 go ahead and takes his havoc down that fight went very well namor putting in the work finished with 100 percent and then i think we have one more fight in this war it's an iron man infinity war uh a mini boss here so we're gonna go ahead and teleport and uh we're gonna get into this fight and i think i used the repair method uh, this war was a little while ago as you can see it was in the the last update but uh, my Captain Marvel is only at 15 charges, so we gotta build her up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, we gotta build her up here. Boom, there we go. Hit the repair method right there. And see, we actually built up four charges there, because that was two parries in a row. So that was really nice. Uh, right there, he just baited the heavy attack, which is fine. And look how quickly we got up to our uh, 25 binary charges. Really fast there with the repair method. Uh, just putting in work, man. So, yeah, I'm feeling uh, really good about this Iron Man fight now. We're looking great, dude. He's already down to 50% health. I think I'm going to bait out uh, a heavy attack here or something. He uh, threw a little bit of a combo into my block, which is fine. I uh, bait out a heavy attack, and then I'm going to punish him with my heavy because it counts as intercepting him, so we get a little bit of a stun here. And then right here, uh, I think I go for my L2 just to play it safe here because I know it's unblockable. Yeah, and uh, he goes down. So, uh, yeah, that was the last fight of this war. Then I'm going to show you guys. We had a couple more fights in uh, the later section, but it was like a green goblin and a hawkeye or something. And it doesn't really apply to this video with the repairing method. So that's going to do it, guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think uh, of the repairing method. Let me know if you like the name. Uh, I've never really tried to coin a phrase before in the community. I've tried to coin a few nicknames, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah, if you let me know if you already knew about this method, if this is news to you, let me know if you're going to practice it. I want to know. Appreciate any feedback. And uh, if there's any kind of tips, any kind of strategies that you guys want me to teach you more about uh, or that you see that I do well, you know, let me know. Any feedback is appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Share it with an alliance mate. Uh, you know, if you want your alliance mates to get better, learn a new skill, you know. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out.